Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your mid-August Soul Connections and Separation Love Reading. So this reading is for those of you who are experiencing a deep soul connection with someone. You may or may not have been in a relationship with this person, but there are just intense energies running between the two of you and you could feel like you're going crazy at times, not understanding this connection, not understanding if your person is feeling the same energy. Um, <clears throat> you are in separation and likely no communication. If that's not your story, if you're looking for new love, then this is definitely not your reading, you guys. Uh, the energies can also be reserved, re reserved, reversed, and this is a general reading, so it's certainly not going to resonate with everyone. The first card that came through is victory. So this is beautiful, and it's very encouraging. So this is just saying, believe that victory can be yours and it will be. And we have this other energy of nothing is yet set in stone. So if you feel like this person is never gonna come back into your life, like it's just impossible, just know that things are still unfolding and you can be successful. We've also got the courage card coming through. So do not let your fears hold you back. Just keep going, keep putting one foot in front of the other. And the final message for you, Aquarius, is be in service. And this is not with respect to your love. Um, this is about you giving back to humanity and you are the humanitarian. Um, this is about giving back to the world. And, you know, when we do give to others, it always comes back to us. Believe it or not, I know there are these cliche sayings of nice guy always finishes last and, you know, no good deed goes unpunished. And sometimes that is true. You know, it's, um, you know, it's all in the grander scheme of things. But truly, when you do give back to the world, good things come to you. So... There you go. The last reading that I did for you guys was your person wants you back and they are your true love and your soulmate. And I just saw the fool card. So let's see what's coming through for them as far as their energy. And you guys, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can just click on the link, be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. When booking, please indicate in the notes if you would like a phone reading, a Zoom reading, or a pre-recorded. Um, Zoom is recordable. If you want a pre-recorded, please indicate in the notes your zodiac sign, your person's zodiac sign, their name, and a brief description of what's been going on between the two of you. Much appreciated. Okay, so we're looking at their energy towards you and this connection. Mm, they love you. They love you, Aquarius. We've got the Queen of Swords coming through. So this is interesting. Um, I love this depiction of the Queen of Swords because she's surrounded by butterflies. And, you know, she's really, um, she, the Queen of Swords is, she she knows what she wants. She's got a lot of clarity. She knows her worth. Um, she is able to just cut things out of her life, release them. And so what I'm feeling is she is gaining clarity. And it, you guys, it doesn't matter if you're watching for a man or a woman, um, it's just energy, and so I'm just referring to her as she, but it could be a he, okay? So um, I just feel like your person is trying to cut through the clutter, the clutter of his or her mind and release those things that aren't serving them. Um, it's not easy though. It's gonna help your person transform but right now they've got a lot of anxiety as they do this work. They are probably losing sleep, thinking about you quite a bit. They're in a place of mental torment. However, they are really feeling good about you with the sun coming through. 
So it's, um, it's almost like they are vacillating between optimism and anxiety. And that's pretty common when you've been separated from someone and you really feel a deep connection with them. But with the sun card coming through, this is about optimism, positivity, abundance, good luck, um, opportunities, healing. The sun is very healing. And then we've got this death card. I mean, the sun gives life and then right next to it, we've we've got the death card so this is very very interesting um the death is you know it's about releasing the old and so we've got the queen of swords and the death card they i just feel that your person is going through a major transformation right now they're making some some really big changes in their life um you know this is a death it's a rebirth it it um it creates transformational um it creates transformation profound change is what i'm trying to say so and you know for some of you you might be dealing with a scorpio i know that some of you are it doesn't have to be um but your person is going through a lot of changes right now ultimately they love you and they want a commitment with you possibly marriage. So they're working on themselves, doing what they can to make the changes necessary to be the best partner for you, to release any of these fears, any resentment, anything like that, that will keep the two of you apart. Now, where they're at on their journey, <clears throat> We've got the Four of Cups. So I would say that, you know, they're thinking about you. Um, this is a missed opportunity. It's not seeing what's, what's being offered to you. I think they do see what's being offered to them. They see potential in this connection, but right now they're just kind of wondering if this can come back around. And with the Seven of Wands, I feel this is under the Nine of Swords. They are feeling a little bit defensive, um, but I do feel like they're taking action. And they are trying to, you know, release all of these bad thoughts. They're trying to slay their dragons. We've got the Two of Pentacles, and this is under the Sun. So it's like they're going back and forth in their minds. And this is what I'm feeling. It's like they're, they're vacillating between anxiety and hope. This is really what I'm feeling. They're wanting reconciliation with you with the three of cups coming through and the queen of wands. So we're seeing these two powerful queens. The queen of wands is... Um, <clears throat> about confidence it's about knowing your worth it's um you know it's a beautiful energy she's very magnetic she's very self-assured and so i feel like they are gaining confidence as they make these changes we've got vibrations and this is under um let's see that's under commitment so they're definitely wanting a commitment with you and lessons they have been learning some lessons this connection is teaching them things about themselves about the spiritual path releasing things embracing new ways of of being thinking doing what is challenging them is quest and impartiality so i don't you know quest is the throat chakra that's the fifth chakra that's about honesty communication truth wisdom spirituality and i feel like um yeah they're kind of struggling 
uh, just tapping into their own wisdom. This transformation that they're going through isn't easy. And with the impartiality, this is related to the seventh chakra. And this is really about taking an impartial view of the situation. It's about looking at the bigger picture, realizing that these lessons that they're learning are for their highest and best good, but it is challenging them. It's bringing up all these, um, you know, these darker thoughts. We've got the two of cups. This is about partnership. It's under the two of pentacles and that's under the sun. So, you know, but this is, this is a challenge to them coming back together with you, having this partnership, having this soulmate love. We've got the star under the three of cups and the death card, beautiful energy, but this is challenging. So really what they're wanting is they see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as somehow destined to be in their life. And it's just a matter of time. When the stars align, this love can come back together. This reconciliation can come back together. But it's, I just feel that the more time passes, the more it challenges them. And we've got return and metamorphosis. The metamorphosis card is the same thing as the death. So these changes that they're making um, are not easy for them, for sure, because this card's come through twice and this is in the challenge position. Um, they are wanting to return, for sure. Let's see what they want to say to you. I think this victory is their energy. <clears throat> I just got sidetracked. Yeah, they're busy working on themselves, trying to figure things out. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. This is, um, I think one of the things that they're working on is just being more dependable and trustworthy and, you know, really walking their talk. Let's see what else they want to say. I left you before you could leave me. I couldn't let you get close to me. So this is something that they're working on. This is part of the transformation that they are going through. Um, there, there's regret. There is definite regret for not opening up. And, you know, they are in high anxiety. They're a little defensive. They're not seeing things clearly is what I'm feeling. They're, um, what is that word? They're, they're seeing things subjectively, not objectively. They're having a difficult time seeing the bigger picture. Um, you can't come where I'm going. This is from their shadow side. This is about, um, this is about the journey that they're on. They need to complete this transformation or really get control of it. And this is just them saying, you know, I, I need to do this on my own. And so we can't be together until I'm feeling more confident about these changes that I'm making. I scared myself that day. Oh, interesting. That card has never come through. They may have said some things or done some things um, that weren't that nice. Um, they may have been incredibly emotional. This is what I'm feeling. They were incredibly emotional. They're, the emotions were just overcoming them. And there could have been uh, an emotional eruption that came out of nowhere. Yeah, at that moment, I just didn't care. So there may have been some crosswords, something like that. Um, yeah, because it's like you, something happened between the two of you and they got extremely triggered. It brought up 
a very, very emotional response. And what I'm getting from this is the feelings that were brought up in them, they've never experienced before. And this connection could bring up feelings that they've never, they've never had before with another person because the energies are so intense. And it may have really felt overwhelming to them. And that is why they walked away or you walked away from them. It says they walked away, but it could be, you know, one or both of you. It could have been a mutual thing. So what spirit wants to say to you about this connection is acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. And, you know, generally these connections are put into our lives so that we will learn from them. We will learn about ourselves. We will learn about, um, you know, cause and effect, consequences of our choices. New love, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. So they're definitely not giving up on this. The apology, you can expect the apology you want to hear. So I do feel that your person wants to say something to you. Apologize for any harsh words, letting you down, disappointing you. And then, wow, here and now, your true love is already part of your life. So we're getting two messages about love. And, you know, last time there was double confirmation. I don't remember the cards that came through, but there was double confirmation that this person is definitely your soulmate. And we've got release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And this is about just surrendering into the process, into the process, into, um, you know, the unknown. Because nothing is yet set in stone. So just accept circumstances for the way they are. Believe that this can come back around if it's meant to come back around. Optimism is always helpful. So now I'm looking at their intentions towards you. We've got two fives. This is about change. The fives are about change. And we've got the five of wands and the five of swords. Not great energies, drama, power struggle, mental conflict, battle you know, a battle with um, each other, egos, um, not great. But what they're saying is with temperance coming through, they want to heal things. They want to balance things out with you. They want this energy to end. And we've got the four of pentacles. So they're a little bit guarded. Um, you know, they are feeling a little bit protective but they really want to come to you with an offer. They want to restart. They really, really love you. And this is just a very, very powerful healing energy. They're heartbroken about this separation. We've got nostalgia. This is about reunion. This is the same thing as the Six of Cups. And so they're definitely, definitely wanting to reconcile with you. But we've got these other energies of observer. This is the page of swords. They're in their thoughts. Um, with deception, they're holding back, okay? And with mask, they're definitely holding back. They're, they're, not, um, they're not being forthcoming about how they truly feel. This is about... Um, this is a, about inauthenticity. It's um, it's not being vulnerable. And we did get this card that said, I couldn't let you get close to me. So they are still wearing this mask 
And this is the one, one of the things that they've got to let go of. They've got to drop the mask, drop the facade, learn how to be vulnerable. But, you know, as I said, they're still kind of protecting their heart. They're afraid that um, they're fearing the worst with the Nine of Swords. They're definitely fearing the worst. Let's see what's in their heart space. Wow. <laughs> this is some powerful stuff. We've got the nine of wands and we've got the world. They're not going to give up until this cycle between the two of you has been successfully completed. They want this chapter to end. They want to begin again. They're not giving up. And we've got the wheel of fortune and judgment. There are so many major arcana coming through you guys. This is really powerful energy. Um, this is probably a past life connection. Um, you probably have a soul contract in place. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is about destiny. It's also about luck and opportunities and change. Doors opening, things shifting, doors closing. And with the Judgment card coming through, this is about redemption. And I feel that they do want to redeem themselves with you. Um, this is about purification. It's a, you know, it's a review. It's a choice. Um, and they're making a choice to transform, to do things differently, to learn a new way of being, to um, adopt a new belief system. So they are making a choice. This is also about a spiritual awakening. And I do feel that you've sparked a spiritual awakening within your person. This is very powerful, very powerful energy. This is what's in their heart. I am feeling gratitude, gratitude coming through. Um, they, you know, they are learning these lessons. And without you coming into their life, they're just feeling that, they would not have embraced this transformation, this change. The answer is yes. That's what's in their heart. They're going to go for it. Fresh start. Yep. Pause. And divine timing okay so you guys there is a little bit of a pause and I felt that in the beginning um you know it's just about what they're going through so you know just rest assured nothing is set in stone they're going through this process they're going through this you know like phoenix rising energy and they're very determined um they definitely want a new beginning a fresh start with you we're getting all these cards you know the ace the fresh start the new love the all of this that indicates a new chapter for you guys and now we're getting the ace of swords so it's just about when the timing is right. Okay, in the outcome, we've got the Ace of Swords. This is about a breakthrough. This is about clarity. And this is a new chapter. This is about truth and honesty. And we've got the hermit. This is a soul searching energy. I like to see these two together. Um, they are, you know, trying to see things from a different perspective. I feel that they're finally being honest with themselves. And that is part of what, you know, has sparked this transformation. Um, there is sadness. I feel like your person is focused on the past. 
And so this is part of the work that they're doing. They need to let go of this. And we see it everywhere with the death card and the queen of swords. This is something that they're really needing to let go of. And I feel like they are improving because we've got the king of cups here. And this is mastery of the emotions. So yeah, there's deep love here and they're working on mastering their emotions so that they're not engulfed by them. I feel that um their emotions just like run wild uh when it comes to you and this has really been a setback in this connection and for your person and so this is part of what they're learning right now and then we've got these interesting energies we've got stuck victim and crossroads and so your person is at a crossroads. They're feeling very stuck. They're feeling like their hands are tied, but it looks like they're going to be able to release all of these energies, these stuck energies, these this, this place of indecision so that they can come towards you in divine timing. Now, I know you guys are like, I'm so sick of hearing about divine timing, but truly people are coming into union. Believe it. I am reading the comments on my channel and I'm hearing it from other readers as well. So just keep the faith. Um, we did get this victory card and have, have courage to keep moving forward. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope that this helped. Thank you for watching today and I'm sending lots of love. Bye-bye.